Archaeologists place their estimate of the world's oldest calendar at around 10,000 years old. Since then, calendars have been integral to the success of every significant culture. Each has had their own way of using calendars. Ours is online. Do you treat your calendar with the respect it deserves? Whether it's the four-hour work week or what's best next, most prescriptive productivity systems include a calendar as a core component of the regimen, at least to some extent. This is in no way accidental. Just like we can use boards in a Kanban type system to visually represent work, we can use calendars to visually represent time constraints and prior commitments to ourselves and others. But that only works if it ends up in front of the eyes that need to see it. In a previous integration session, we had gone over the basic operations of Nextcloud's calendar application. Today, we're going to dive in a little deeper to see how we can really make it act as our single source of truth for the time in our days. The first thing to demonstrate here is the ability to import calendars. Uh, there is a web standard called iCal. Usually it's a file that ends in .ics or a simple web page that you can copy into Nextcloud's add a new calendar feature by adding a new subscription from the link and pasting that link in there, which will then create the subscription. This is a office holidays calendar. For what it's worth, in the public access of every Camboard project, there will be an iCal feed link which you can copy and paste into Nextcloud. Now that we've seen how easy it is to import calendars into Nextcloud, let's take a look at exporting calendars the same way. For instance, I have created two events inside of my personal calendar. To share the calendar, I would click on the share link to generate it. Then I would copy that public link. I can then paste that into any browser which will pull up a web page of that. However, this is not an iCal subscription. That can be gotten by clicking on the three buttons and copying the subscription link. If I try to paste it into an iCal feed, we can see that it is able to be imported. And yes, this is a bit ridiculous, exporting a calendar and importing it on the same instance, but bear with me here for example purposes. Additionally, subscribing to a Nextcloud calendar through your Android phone is as easy as setting it up through the settings. In Sync Calendar and Contacts, the Nextcloud application will direct my phone to authorize Nextcloud for that use and prompt me for what calendars I would like to set up, including the personal one, which is served via CalDAV, and WebCal, which are the other ones I've subscribed to. This also means that any event that I create on my Android phone, I can choose to create inside of the personal calendar on my Nextcloud instance, which will then sync up to the instance once it is created. To round out sharing, so share with other users by selecting them from the dropdown after searching their username. This also allows them to edit the calendar if you choose. As a bonus, if we create a user and add a property type of birthday and set that birthday date, a new calendar will appear on Nextcloud, which is the contact birthdays calendar. And this will include every single birthday in our contacts automatically for us for helpful reminders. By using Nextcloud's calendar application in these ways, we can see how easily it takes on the responsibility of being a core part of any workflow. If you found that Nextcloud's calendar has been able to help you, or if you have any questions about it, visit us at rcompose.com. And if you're ready to get started with Nextcloud, you can also sign up for your free trial of your own rcompose instance today at rcompose.com.